here's our roux that we will start our etouffee with and I have warmed it up. And if you want to see how this is made, I have another video on just making a roux. And next we're going to add in our trinity, which consists of bell peppers, our celery, and our onions. And we're going to let this saute around for about 10 minutes. And then we'll be right back. Okay, now we're going to add in our green onions. our tomatoes, and our garlic. I'm going to get this stirred around. And then we're going to add in our stock. And then we're going to get our stock stirred around. Okay, now that we have brought this up to a warmer temperature, we're going to add in our seasons which consists of Cajun season, oregano, thyme, black pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. And we're just going to stir this. Okay, we're also going to add in a tablespoon of tomato paste. Okay, and we're going to let this simmer on low for about 45 minutes. Okay, now we have about 10 minutes left before our etouffee is completely done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in my shrimp. And now we're gonna give that a stir. Okay, now we're gonna let this go for five minutes after we've added in our shrimp. And then we're gonna come back the last five minutes and we're gonna add in our crawfish tail that has already been cooked. Okay guys, now that our etouffee has five minutes left, we're gonna add in our crawfish tails. And we're just gonna give this a stir around. And while I have this finishing up, I have some steamed rice on that we're gonna serve this with. Okay, our etouffee is now done. We're gonna remove the lid and we're gonna give it a stir. So yummy. Okay, now we're gonna get this plated with our steamed rice and I'll be back with you and show you what that looks like. Okay, this is our finished etouffee. We have ladled it over some steamed rice and I'm gonna garnish it with a little bit of chopped parsley. And there you have it guys. Look at that, how yummy. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up and please share my video I would really appreciate it and I will leave the recipe down in my description box until next time I'll see you guys thanks for cooking with me